Hi, this is Jack Pollock at the IPG Media Lab. I'm alongside Jamin Edis, founder and CEO of Dash, which is making every car a smart car. Uh, a lot of people make the comparison to Fitbit. It's like Fitbit for cars. Would you say that's fitting? Yeah, I would. You know, these, these things were certainly uh, an inspiration for us, the physical activity trackers. We're doing something very similar. Small piece of hardware plugs into your vehicle, tracks, monitors, and analyzes your, your driving behavior, tries to improve it. Um, another analogy I like to use is a Nest. You know, a Nest is a smart device. Put it on your home, make it a smart home. Um, but also using that intelligence to help you reduce your, your fuel cost, your energy consumption, and therefore be greener and save money. Those are all things that we do as well within the vehicle. Awesome. So, Jamin, you and I, we're here at the West Side Highway. We're actually going to take this for a spin and, uh, and get hands on with Dash. You know, what, what we're trying to do here is make what has historically been a kind of a dumb piece of equipment, um, make it smarter, and as you mentioned earlier on, really taking the location layer to the next level. And you know, we've, we've often referred to what we're doing as, as building a, a connected car platform, and from a data perspective, creating what we call the automotive graph, right? So people call Pandora the music graph, they call Facebook the social graph, Wikipedia the, the knowledge graph, so we're creating what we call the automotive graph. So we'll tell you everything that happens between point A and point B in a vehicle. Yep. And so we're gathering around 300 data points in real time from four different areas of, of information. One of them is from the, the car's computer and all the sensors involved in, in the vehicle. The second is pairing that with the sensors that you have already in your smartphone. So that's things like GPS, your barometer, your compass, your accelerometers. Um, then we have a pairing with the social graph, so we know the demographics of the driver, which is really interesting from a marketing perspective. Uh, and then finally, we pull in um, what we call ambient information to do with a trip. So getting uh, information about the weather, about the traffic conditions, about the businesses that you're driving past. All of those really add depth and breadth to the, to the data that we're gathering uh, around driving as a behavior. We, we always were attracted to this idea of gamifying the driving experience. You know, we look to inspiration um, for things like uh, the Nike Fuel, those fuel, fuel points you get for exercise. And so we created this score for Dash. It's out of 100. Um, and that takes in lots of positive and negative signals on your driving behavior. So we look at things like, are you speeding? Are you hard braking? Are you over accelerating? Um, are you using your phone while you're driving, which you shouldn't be doing? Um, are you idling? What's your fuel efficiency? So you pull in all these different variables and you weight them and you distribute them and we looked at things like credit score distribution um, to try and come up with a smart way of scoring your driving. So mm -hmm. at the end of each trip we push you a notification and we tell you did your score go up or down and what was the reason? Um, and so there's actually actionable insights there for you to improve your driving behaviors.